Hey you guys, this is your girl from D's Corner, it's D. And as you can see, the title of this video is entitled Weight Loss Chapters, Valentine's Day Edition. I'm going to be cooking up something simple in the kitchen. It's not a whole meal, um, but it's just something that's quick and easy and fun. You can do it with your kids. You can do it for your girlfriend, boyfriend, if you know they're eating healthy. Um, and so, yeah, that's the best part about it is that it's healthy. And if you guys want to see this tutorial, continue watching this video. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Excuse my appearance. Um, I'm in the house on Saturday. This video will probably be posted on Sunday because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. But I'm making it today because I'm going to be busy tomorrow. Um, so, yes, excuse my appearance. I got my little red banda, red bandana, I guess. You know, happy Valentine's Day, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically I'm gonna just tell you everything that you will need. Um, you are going to need, hold on. you're gonna need one cup of flour and wrong. One cup of cauliflower, okay? Cauliflower, it is like, it looks like broccoli if you don't know what it is. And you're gonna need some ham if you wanna put ham on it. You're gonna need cheese. Um, the best kind of cheese to get is the sharp cheese. It would probably be better if I got the black cheese and shredded it myself, but nobody has time for that. So, uh, cheese, this is actually Parmesan shredded cheese. You're going to need garlic powder. You're going to need, uh, spinach. You are going to need a pot. This is big enough. You're going to need, um, parchment paper. You're gonna need parchment paper, and if you don't have parchment paper, you can oil your, you can grease your pan with olive oil if you choose. And you're also going to need one egg. So you're gonna need two cups of cauliflower, one cup of cheese, and also, lastly, you are going to need a baking sheet. Um, now, if you are gonna make a, well, if you haven't guessed what I'm making, I'm making a pizza. Ooh but it's healthier for you. Um, and if you're gonna make a circle pizza, this can work for you, um, but just use it at your own discretion. I'll show you the shape of my pizza when you guys, when I you know, add everything together um, and do it. Obviously it's Valentine's Day, so it's gonna be a hard. <laughs> but also, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I totally forgot. You are going to need tomato sauce. I don't have the tomato sauce on the island because it just slipped my mind and I just remembered. But anyway, so these are the things you need. Let me go down the list again. You are going to need to shred or grate very finely cauliflower, two cups of cauliflower. You're going to need any toppings that you want to put on it, whether it's cheese, um, ham, turkey, whatever. Um, and I also have a couple of pepperonis here as well. And you're going to need a pot. You're going to want to cook the, pot, the cauliflower after you shred it for about 10 minutes. I cooked mine for 10 minutes. Um, and then so when you, after you... Um, after you cook it for like 10 minutes, you're going to want to use a dish towel and drain it out because cauliflower has a lot of water, hence why it's really good for you. But in the purpose of using the cauliflower as a crust, you would want your cauliflower to be dry. You know, not super dry, but you're going to want it to be a little bit dry. All right. Um, so, so yeah, like I said, you're going to need cheese. And as I said, if I forget anything, I will leave all of the ingredients in the description bar below. And I will also leave... Um, I will also leave the recipe. I'll tell you how many cups of this and that. Um, and so the black powder is optional. Like if you like pizza that's a little bit garlicky, you can do that. I'm gonna put just a tad bit of garlic powder in it. So now that you know everything that you need, I'm gonna go ahead and mix the, um, what is this? Mix the cauliflower, the cheese, and the egg together. And I'm gonna shape my um, crust onto the pan with parchment paper underneath it. Um, and then I'm gonna put that in the oven for about maybe 15 to 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna come back when my crust is finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any comments or if you wanna see a full detail of me doing each and every step, please like or comment. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? Um, it's a new channel. I don't got that much subscribers, but it's okay. But anyway, uh, so yeah, this is what I'm making. It is called um, cauliflower pizza and it's very healthy for you it's not something that you want to eat all the time especially because it does have cheese so use it at do it at your own discretion um, I've been eating very well so I said okay I'll have some cauliflower pizza for my dinner today 
Now, especially because I didn't get to go to, I didn't get, I didn't get to eat my lunch. So this will be my dinner. And so, like I said, stay tuned. Bye. Hey you guys, so I'm back again and I'm gonna bring the camera just a little bit closer. So you can see I just took it out of the oven and this is the heart shaped, okay? It's the heart shaped dough. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put cheese on it. I'm gonna put my toppings on it. I'm gonna have ham, a little bit of pepperoni and a little bit of um, ham. And I'm also gonna have cheese and spinach. So. Y'all see it or whatever. This is my Valentine to myself or whatever. All right, so I'll be back. I'm back, guys. Like a black girl that asked for two bundles and only got one. <laughs> no. So, okay, so the pizza is fully covered. I got my cheese on top. Of course, tomato sauce. Got my cheese on top. And let me tell y'all how I was salty. So, you remember at the, the beginning of my video, I showed y'all a bag of cheese. That was clearly cheddar. So, I had to literally shred. Mm. Yes, I had to shred mozzarella cheese. So I got the mozzarella cheese on there. I got a couple of pepperonis. I got ham around the heart. And I also have spinach or whatever. So I'm going to get a close-up on this really quick. Closer. Mm-hmm. That's my heart. And happy Valentine's Day to me or whatever. Like, yeah, do that. Get down, boy. So anyway, guys. So this is basically the finished product. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and there you have it, you're done. Uh, like, comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see more healthy recipes, let me know.